Well, as we get closer and closer to the summer months, we get closer to the next seismic college football conference realignment move. And I think the next seismic move will be FSU along with a few other teams possibly joining the Big Ten or the SEC. But I wanted to take it step by step. What are the next two big stages of realignment and where are we right now with all the different news coming out that the Big Ten and the SEC, they want these auto-guaranteed buys if you're potentially talking about a new playoff format and these other conferences realizing we're about to be left behind and the Big Ten and the SEC are just so much greater. They're going to be giving preferential treatment college football expansion, every realignment move that will be coming in 2024. Now, this is just a little summary. I'm going to be kind of playing off of this article and giving my speculation on what's going to be happening this summer. I already came out about a month and a half ago with my realignment predictions, and the main one pertains to Florida State, possibly North Carolina, possibly Clemson, maybe Miami. Those would be the four teams I would look at leaving the ACC, the ACC having to replace those teams and pick off more schools from the American, and we're kind of on this never-ending merry-go-round that I do believe has an end point once the ACC gets watered down, when they lose Clemson, when they lose FSU, we're going to be looking around, we're going to be seeing that the Big Ten and the SEC have so much of the power, I mean, they already do at this point, but but even it's going to be even greater when the ACC loses their powerhouse teams to these two conferences and we're going to completely reshape college football and it's going to be a big two in their own league. Now you can see the ACC who's coming in Cal Stanford SMU. Again, my opinion on the ACC really hasn't changed. They're going to be losing their big dogs, but they've already supplemented it and they've already been able to replace them. At least they've been proactive. It's not going to be a Pac-12 situation where the conference ceases to exist. They will likely add teams from the American, and then I do think they will take one, maybe two teams. Maybe Boise State as well, but I definitely think San Diego State from the western side of the United States, because of how imbalanced their conference is right now, really college football as a whole just needs their entire reset when it comes to these conferences. Obviously, they do not make sense, but if you are trying to balance it, mitigate the travel concerns, and you are the ACC, and let's say that FSU, and it seems very likely that FSU and a few other teams are going to be able to get out of that conference this summer and join one of the big two powerhouses, it seems likely to supplement that to at least look at a San Diego State because you've already got Cal and Stanford on the West Coast. You want to help out their travel problems. That seems very likely. So for the ACC, they're going to become, you know, a, a conference kind of like the Big 12, maybe even a worse version of the Big 12 now that I think about it, but a very similar type conference where they'll have some solid teams. I guess it just depends on who they lose. There's some some fogginess right now with what's going to be happening to North Carolina and NC State when it comes to the laws in North Carolina. Can North Carolina leave with NC State staying in the ACC or are they kind of a package deal? That's one of the things I'll be watching. Also, there's the narrative, and I've seen other people predict possibly the ACC being able to keep Duke and North Carolina. And if I was the ACC, those are the two schools that I would try and hang on to for dear might. Those are not football powerhouses, but they are good in terms of their academics. I'm talking about Duke and North Carolina. You have to keep that basketball rivalry if you are the ACC. Right now, the ACC, in terms of their basketball conference, is not very good either, but that's because some of the schools are having down times. Either way, I do think the ACC will still be together. The biggest drama surrounding it will be, is that Duke-North Carolina rivalry fractured at all by realignment, or do both of those teams join the Big Ten? Do they stay in the ACC? Is it just FSU-Clemson, maybe Miami leaving? It'll be interesting to look at. The Big 12, you look at the Big 12 and and where they're at right now, losing their two big dogs, Texas and Oklahoma, it is a very condensed conference. That's what I'll say about the Big 12. It's very condensed. But this whole idea where people are saying there's a big three in college football, there's these big three conferences, and then there's everyone else, it's just not true. The Big 12 is, is not even close to being comparable to either the SEC or the Big 10. The SEC and the Big 10 are so much greater than the Big 12 at this point, 
that, I mean, the Big 12 is going to be competitive, don't get me wrong, but in terms of recruiting, in terms of blue blood status, they do not have that ultimate power, losing both Texas and Oklahoma. And at this point, you know, they've looked at San Diego State, they've looked at a few teams from the American, it doesn't seem like they can really add a ton of value to their conference without diluting it, and that's why the other teams that are in this conference and that are joining this conference, Arizona, Arizona State, Utah, Colorado, they're really not going to be privy to expansion because the teams that you're adding, they're not going to add value. I know there's been a little bit of talk about FSU going to the Big 12. That just makes no sense. If you're FSU, just why not just stay in the ACC when it comes to, you know, it's not like you're going to be getting a huge pay raise if you are Florida State and you go to the Big 12. So that makes no sense. If FSU leaves, it will be to one of the Big 2, and I think that's going to be happening this summer along with a few other teams. But the Big 12, I guess they could expand, but they would be expanding for the sake of expansion, right? It's not like they're going to be adding teams that bring their league a ton more value. You could argue maybe San Diego State. I mean, adding Gonzaga for basketball, for sure. It's a great basketball conference. We get it. But in terms of football, where the real money is made, I don't think the Big 12 has many options in terms of adding an elite powerhouse team because their TV deal is not lucrative enough to warrant a big powerhouse like a Clemson really looking at them. The Big Ten, obviously, is going to be a superpower. It's a top two. It's one of the big two. The question for the Big Ten I have going into the summer, look at a program like Miami and look at the state of Florida overall. The Big Ten has not gone into Florida yet. I'm sure they would love to get some footing there. Do they consider Florida State? Do they consider Miami? A team like that possibly going to the Big Ten. I think Miami is an interesting one to watch for the Big Ten, also North Carolina because of the academics, but obviously the Big Ten is going to be fine moving forward. And I do think after this next stage of realignment, the next stage is the ACC getting watered down by either the Big Ten or the SEC. After that happens, that's when I think we get the Big Two and we get parameters put in place that these two conferences, they're just so much better than everyone else. There's going to be different rules and, and that's why a lot of these coaches in the Big 12 right now, they're having problems with what's come out about possible playoff formats where the top two seeds would that would get buys would be the guaranteed Big 10 champion and the guaranteed SEC champion. And there would be no chance for any other team in any conference to get a first round buy if the playoff ends up getting expanded again. That would be going from the 12-team playoff to the 14-team 14 play, 14 playoff where the top two seeds would get buys, which I think is inevitable, by the way, because they're already discussing it, and, and this 12-team playoff could only last for two years. As for the AAC, it's very sad. This conference is just going to continue to get watered down. I mean, it, you know, it, they're a victim of what's going on around them, the American conferences. This was a very strong conference back in 2017-2018. They had teams poached. They had to replace them. And they're about to get more teams poached by the ACC because the ACC is going to lose teams. They're going to want to replace. Same thing's going to happen to the, to the Mountain West, I'm guessing. And that is just the unfortunate situation there. Obviously, the SEC. The question is, the SEC has been very exclusive. They haven't done the whole worldwide thing like, oh, we're just going to add whoever we want like the Big Ten. They've stayed south. And that's why I think the perfect fit for Clemson and FSU is the SEC. I think that's the number one best fit. Now, I'm not saying it's going to happen, but it just seems like reading the tea leaves, if the SEC wants to continue to one-up the Big Ten, you have two teams that are within your geographical footprint. If you want to still have that exclusive Southern-only draw, you add FSU and people say, well, Florida's not going to allow that. It really doesn't matter. It's just about money. You know, it, it'll all get worked out. These are the same people that said there's no way FSU could leave this conference because of the grant of rights. And then what happens? Well, they can find loopholes. It's just about money. Money is such a motivating factor. It'll, you know, whether Florida's happy or not happy about FSU being in the SEC, I don't think that's going to be the determining factor whether that team ends up joining. So I think the SEC, if they want to make a power play, Clemson in terms of geographical footprint, and I know people say it doesn't matter, but for the SEC, it kind of does. I mean, yes, they did add Oklahoma and Texas, but it's not like they're going north to add teams. They're still keeping it pretty condensed. So I think the SEC is probably very interested in both Clemson and Florida State. Those would be the two teams I would look at when it comes to that. 
But that is just kind of the, the next stage of realignment, I think, will be the ACC getting significantly weaker. It will be the big two getting even stronger. And then the dialogue will only strengthen when it comes to the big two separating from everyone else. I think college football should just have a huge reset and just redo everything because the conferences obviously make no sense. They're not meant to make sense. They're meant to, well, they are meant to make sense in terms of money. <laughs> They're not meant to make sense in terms of actual geography and travel and rivalries and in and proximities to other schools. That is why all of these things are completely out of whack and the conferences are just ridiculous at this point. But I'll say there's two stages left of realignment. Once the ACC gets weaker, I mean, this is another little curveball. Could the Big 12 try taking some of those mid-tier ACC teams? I just don't think there's much of an incentive for ACC teams to join the Big 12, how much of a pay raise is it really? So I would be very surprised if the if the Big 12 added any ACC teams, even if there were some ACC teams that got panicked because, you know, if Clemson leaves, if FSU leaves, that's going to be a problem. There was a rumor back in October, I remember, about Clemson joining the Big 10. Nothing ended up coming of that. You know, there's rumors all the time, but it was kind of interesting Either way, we will see what ends up happening this summer. I would expect it's going to be a big year for the ACC, and I would expect them to lose multiple teams and then gain teams from a combination of the Mountain West and the American Conference, probably taking two teams from the Mountain West and two teams from the American or some combination like that if they lose four teams to replace. They've already added three teams, but if they lose four more, they're probably going to want to immediately replace those, and their conference is going to become a de facto group of five league, which I guess, to be fair, is better than the fate that the Pac-12 suffered. But either way, guys, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.